Today I'm going to make a login component for my Bigfoot Hunters app. And then I'm going to be able to press on the login in the menu, go to the component. And then we'll have the username and password. We're not going to do the authentication and talk to the server yet. I'm just going to hard code a value just to get things up and running. Let's go over to our command prompt. I am in my Bigfoot Hunters directory. It's just Bigfoot. And I'm going to generate a component. ng generate component and we'll do login there we go now in order to see our login page we need to go to visual studio code create a route for it let's go to visual studio code look for app routing module ts open that up and then under our routes array let's go ahead and add comma curly bracket path colon single quote login and then component colon login component and you'll notice that the login component was imported by default if it did not get imported you'll have to add it but now if we look at our menu component it's called the header the html we will see that that button right here has this slash login that's what we want in our routing module TS. We are going to be going to that slash login. That's what we define the path at. Let's go ahead and save everything to see if we can bring up our login window. There we go. Login. Login works. That's pretty good. Now let's go back to our Visual Studio code and add something to our login that looks a little bit more like a window, like a login window. So here's my login component. I'm gonna to go to login.component.html, open that up. It says login works, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna add a bootstrap container. So I'll do open bracket div class equals container. And when I do my close bracket, I get the other div. And now we're going to add a card, a bootstrap card to the container. Open bracket div. I keep spelling that wrong. Class equals card. All right, now the card has a header, a body, and a footer. So let's add those. We're going to do div. Got that one right. Class. And then we'll have card header. And let's add the body and the footer too. So we'll have this, copy, paste. Can I paste it like that? Yeah, I can paste it like that. So I got the header, this is gonna be the body. This is gonna be the footer. There we go. All right, now on the header, I think I'm just gonna do H1 login. And then in the body, this is where I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my username and password stuff. I'm going to make a row for each though. So I'm going to do a open bracket div class row. There we go. I'm going to use that row in a couple different places. Let me go ahead and copy it. See if I get all of that. Control C and then one right below it. So one's going to be the username, one's going to be the password. And then down here, I'm going to put my submit button. I'm going to put that in a row too. And now on that top row, let's make that the username. Username. We can make it like this. Username colon. It's going to be an input. And of type equals text. And then we'll give the component a name. Name equals username. And close the bracket. I'm going to do the same for the password. And you'll notice that there's stuff missing. We have no way to get it to the TS component. I'm going to do that next. So this one's going to be the password. I just want to see what this looks like. It's going to be password here. And also there's a type password component that's going to hide your text when you're typing it. And let's go down here and add our button now. 
So we'll do a open bracket button. And then we're going to do a click detector on there. Hit the equal sign. We'll call this sign in. We're going to get an error though, because we don't have sign in in the TypeScript right now. We'll add that real quick before we check it out. And then we'll say class equals, this is a bootstrap class. We have a bootstrap class for button. Then we have this button success. It'll give you the green button. Close that. And we'll put our text in our button. We'll just say login. All right, let's go ahead and make sure we have something here so we don't have an error. We're going to go to our login component, login.component.ts. Open that up. And inside our login component, let's make a function called sign in. And we'll just make it empty for now. That will get rid of our error. Let's go ahead and save everything. Save all. And we'll check out our build. It looks like it went well. And then let's check out our website. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. Now let's go to our TypeScript file. Put a little bit of logic in there. We're going to hard code uh, on authentication. I'm going to need a username, right? Username equals, and I'll just make it an empty string. And I'm putting this right under the export. So this is going to, these are going to be member variables. I'm also going to give a password. And then in this sign in, this is where we would call our authentication service. Right now, the authentication is just going to be a simple if statement which won't work well in our live system. So this is just for setting up right now until we get a, an authentication system working. Let's do console.log to see what comes over from the HTML for our username and password. I'll do username equals, and then here we have to do this dot username because this is a member variable. And then let's do password equals comma this dot password all right now we're going to do our if statement this username and i'm going to do strictly equals so i'll do three equals 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 and we'll just set this to um bigfoot oh let's do admin admin and then we'll make the password bigfoot and this dot password equals 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 bigfoot all right so if that's the case let's just make a message a console message saying valid or login success and then else let's go put a Semicolon there, that's the convention. You're not going to get an error if you don't have it, but the convention is to end each statement with a semicolon. Let's do an else here, and then we're going to do a success or a unsuccessful. Let's do failure, login, failure. Now, the downside is we aren't doing anything to update these yet. We're going to have to do that. I'm going to use the, the forms module. So I'm going to use ng model. I'm going to need to add something though. I'm going to need to go to app module TS and we're going to import our forms module, right? It's going to be imported up here. All you have to do is for the imports though, normally do a comma and then write forms module when i hit the enter it's going to get added up here if it did not get added up here you're going to have to you have to type it in but now we have the forms module we could use this ng model to get data from our typescript to our html and back so they'll be able to talk back and forth let's go to our html login component.html and then right here we're going to add under username to a space. We're going to do open, close, square brackets. I'm going to go inside, open and close parentheses, go inside, ng model. And then on the other side of that square bracket, 
hidden equals, got the speech quotes there, username, so whatever the member variable is. I'm gonna put this on the next line. All right, so that is our member variable. I'm just gonna copy this right here. Control C. And we'll just hit it enter. Oh, they didn't line it up right. One, two, three. Let's do four. There we go. Is that how many it is? Four. One, two, three, four. Yep. And now put this as password. Now we're going to get data over on the other side. Let's try it out. Save all. Go back to our website. We're going to look down here for our console. We'll do admin. And then it's Bigfoot, right? Big foot. Hit login. Ah, success. There it is. Username admin. Password Bigfoot. Login success. What happens if I do like admin one? Failure. Well, we need to do a little more than this, but we are up and running. We have the basic construct of a login page.